the Gambia Transport Union has called on the president to reopen the country's borders and put in place COVID-19 regulations that will allow uh, for safe passengers. The Gambia sought its land, air and sea borders on March 23, 2020 after uh, the country registered its first case of the coronavirus and has since maintained these regulations but plans to ease their travel um, of course, plans to ease air travel this month is ongoing. Now, let's have more details on that in this report. The Gambia Transport Union has raised concerns over the long close of the country's borders, which brought travel and business across the Gambia and Senegal to a standstill. The union's president, Omar Sisse, told iAfrica TV's Good Morning Africa program on Monday that the borders need to reopen with the government implementing COVID-19 regulations. The purpose of the closure of the border is not observed. People are crossing within the Gambia-Senegal border and the people that are crossing within the border there is no health facility and no security measures to observe those people. So I think borders should be opened now with strict measures. But as government has given deaf ears to recent calls to reopen schools and weekly markets in rural areas. However, CISA said that he is optimistic that the government will listen to the concerns of the transport union and reopen the country's borders with effective COVID regulations. We are hopeful that the government will reconsider its decision and open the border. It's our government, so if we raise our concerns as citizens, they have the responsibility to listen to us. Though it's risky to allow people to move at once in this COVID-19, but I'm sure that they will consider our concern. In March, the government said it consulted a ministerial committee on the coronavirus situation before shutting down the borders to halt the spread of the virus. Seven months down the line, the virus has yet to be contained locally and people have nonetheless crossed into the Gambia from Senegal with the virus, despite border surveillance protocols put in place by the government. Meanwhile, trade between the two countries has been severely affected as well as lives and livelihoods of truckers and other motorists. Reporting for iAfrica News, I am Daisy the president of the Gambia Transport Union, they are calling the Gambia government to reopen the borders. 